Okay, first we're going to have to add some text. Okay. Add text now. And here is important to right click on this and select convert to smart object. All right. And uh, now it's important to go to filter blur gallery and uh, field blur. Now I'm going to click around here. And also make sure here you select dissolve. All right. And uh, now here you have dissolve. It's perfect, but it's good to select this all before we add field blur. Now let's move this here. We can increase. I'm going to increase a lot here and move it around here. Now I'm just going to click to add another one here and the one, this one decrease a little bit more. Okay. And here, this one should, uh, be like this. And now I'm going to click again here and move it around this part. And move this here, here. And this one here, something like this. Let's click OK. And now we could add here some invert if you want to. Something like this. And now drag and drop an image. OK. Drag and drop. And then you can control plus T to resize. Or and positioned, you can also check this. So you always have control plus T, the option to transform your image. And uh, here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on filter, select the image, filter, blur gallery, path blur, and here, here should be about one, and here speed, we need more speed here. But, um, but here let's select real sync flash, increase this, decrease this one to one and here we should now here, let's keep, uh, 13, 10 something like this. Now we can also change here. Remember is in blur gallery, all right? This gives us a really nice effect. Now what's cool that we can now so we grab this around here and drag this all the way down from here we can grab and add another point here and we can create this pattern which looks really nice this looks pretty nice something like this And now let's click OK. Next, 
a step. Let's go to filter, pixelate, point the lies here. Let's zoom out. Click OK. Click on gradient map. And here we should have this one, but click on reverse. Now this looks fantastic. I love it. Drag the text up. Up and just uh, called Alt so you can create the clipping mask for only the text. Now click on here. We can play with this Alt. Click on that Alt here. current one I mean for this one uh, you can't do that much but for the underlying one this will help to create kind of like um, you can see through it and this is a pretty nice effect I hope you found this helpful now another thing here you could do I'll make this look pretty nice is if you move this back here, uh, okay, like this, but we're gonna crop this image and then we could convert it to a smart object, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then image, and then view saturation, and then click on this uh, mask, to add a mask from here, grab the brush tool, and just change this like this but here actually you can uh, remove that mask uh, you can delete and click on smart filters here and now press x on your keyboard and now just half of this image should be like this and the now X again, now the other half is black and the other one it's colored. And now if you want to also go back to the image and add some let's click on dissolve filter and pad blur okay 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 mm -hmm. okay 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 what is mm, trying to cancel this why is not working the way I want press delete to delete and here we're gonna go like this and then I go like this part and okay and now we wait because we have patience Now let's try this. Actually, no, not there. And now let's.
let's duplicate control plus J and we should delete this and we should go to add blur and increase like this but change to this okay filters and let's go in here select this one graphic pan or graphic pan usually but just the crease here and delete this uh, graph you can also select grain okay and okay now and here you can try and try different uh, different options it's going to give you different results you can choose which one you like the most i like this one and now let me select both of these and drag them here and I don't know if, let me move this up like this okay and now look at this can also do it this way sorry and now I also need this text normal is not that we want this but you know can disable some of this here and then invert this and this 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 is the effect but if you want you can also grab this here and add this effect here you know something like this